Hello, I'm Jomica, and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to show you how to get the NVIDIA RTX Ray Tracing Beta for Minecraft Bedrock Edition onto your computer, and how you can actually uh, play it and take a look around at everything. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what you need to do in order to start playing. So the first thing I would do is make a backup of all of your Minecraft data. And to do that, we're gonna come down here, bottom left corner, the little Windows screen, and select File Explorer. And when that pops up, up in the Quick Access URL bar, you're gonna type App Data, if I can type correctly, uh, with the little percentage signs around it, hit Enter. And from there, you're gonna go down to Local. Uh, it should be Ah, go back to app data, and then go local. Uh, from there, we're gonna go to packages. And then in there, there should be Microsoft Minecraft UWP. Uh, in here, this one right here. So open that, and then local state, and com, sorry, I skipped one and then games, and then com mojang, and you're gonna select all these, and before you do that, I would do a new window, just do control N, and that'll pop up a new one in the same area. Go to the desktop, and we're gonna go into the Minecraft backup. We already had that folder while I was doing some testing. Um, actually, I'll just delete that. And then right click on the desktop, do new folder, Minecraft backup and then go back into where your current Minecraft game is all this stuff select all the files and then you can control C which will copy it and then paste it into here um, and that'll back up all of your worlds your skins I think settings probably too um, we'll find out later but yeah, you want to make sure you back all that up because you will have to uninstall the beta to get back to regular Minecraft, and that will delete everything. So once you have everything backed up, we are going to get the Microsoft or Xbox Insider Hub from the Microsoft Store. So in the little search bar here, if you have that, uh, go ahead and type... Microsoft Store, it should pop up pretty quick there. And you can open that up. And then we'll search here for Xbox Insider Hub. You can do that, that'll show up. And then you can install that. And once it's downloaded, click Launch, that should open it up. And you'll be presented with this little screen here. On the left side, you wanna click the Insider Content and then open up the Microsoft for Windows 10, Minecraft for Windows 10. And then go ahead and click join at the bottom here. And this is where you can select if you want the regular beta. Uh, this is all the nether updates and all that for right now. And then this RTX one is the beta for the ray tracing. So select that, hit done, accept everything. It just lets you know what you need. Um, all the hardware and that you'll probably lose progress if you do this so that's why we made a backup and then this screen will pop up it'll be pending uh, go ahead and wait for that to finish right now for me it's probably going to take a few times just because everybody's doing it so i'll join you back once i have the next step ready and if you are early on like i am right now if you're seeing this video when it comes out you may get your registration is taking longer than expected. Please check back later. You just hit the back and then do this again and pending will pop up. Okay, so now that is done. It did the pending thing. It shows manage and shown store. That means that you have it right here. You could check. Uh, we'll just hit cancel. Then click show in store. It will open up and it'll automatically start installing the beta version of Minecraft. So we'll wait for that to download, and then we'll go ahead and load it up once that's done. 
and actually it's going to be quick. I was going to put a cut in there, but looks like we don't have to. So we'll go ahead and hit play. That will load up and I will put a cut in here. All right, so we are in the beta. Um, you can read all that if you want. Um, at this point, you should be in yourself, and you can go ahead and do the next step, which is visiting the marketplace. Uh, in order to actually play these, we need to get the NVIDIA worlds. So you can come in here and just type NVIDIA. These all have custom resource packs um, that you can download and check out. Uh, so there's all of these. We'll go ahead and just do one of these. I have not played this one yet, but we'll go ahead and hit download. It'll start downloading, and once that's done, you can go ahead and start to play. Um, so we'll just go back here. I'm going to change some of my settings. We could take a look in here. We do have this new advanced video section. You can change some of these. Uh, you can change the render distance, particle render distance, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, once that's done downloading, we can go ahead and start to play. Okay, it just said download complete. So now we can go ahead and hit play, create new, and then right here we wanna use uh, my world template, the one we downloaded. All the other downloads will show up down here if you've done more. If you're just gonna create a new world, uh, that's not gonna work because it needs the actual resource packs and shader packs and whatever else uh, it actually needs. So this one is in creative. We'll go ahead and keep all the same settings, but if you wanna change some of those settings down below, you can just hit unlock template world options and we'll go ahead and hit create. And that should send us right into the world and we get to experience all of the ray tracing that there is in this world pack. Um, yeah, we'll wait for that to do its thing. Okay, we just joined in the world. I set it to full screen, and here is what it looks like. Uh, we got this glass reflecting everything from up there, and yeah, it looks amazing. Um, so yeah, once you get in, you can take a look around the worlds and play all the different ones. Um, but now I'm gonna show you how to get out of the beta and back into regular Minecraft so you can play on your existing worlds. All right, once we exit out, we are back to here again. And in order to get back to the regular version of Minecraft, we wanna click Manage and click Unenroll and then Done. You'll accept this, it's just giving you warnings. You should probably read that yourself, but we'll go ahead and accept that. I've read it previously, and yeah, that'll do its loading thing, and do the pending and everything like that. But while we're waiting, we can do add remove program, so type search down here. We're gonna want to remove Minecraft from your computer. That is why we made a backup, so we can go ahead, uninstall that, and that'll uninstall, that should be done. And then we'll go ahead and wait for that um, in order to go ahead and get regular Minecraft back in installed. Okay, when you see this screen, that means you can go ahead and reinstall Minecraft onto your computer by clicking install. That will install it. Um, we also would like to open, oh, we can close those two. Um, the App Store, not the app store, the Minecraft folder again. So app data is what I was looking for. And we'll go back to app data, local, and that's done. So before we go back to here, we want to actually hit play. This will open up Minecraft. It'll kind of do like the, uh, the first startup install of everything. Close that, close that, and yeah, it's got our regular profile here, and we are Steve. So we can close that again now that the initial startup is all done. And if I can remember what the folder was, we can go ahead and do that. I guess it was Microsoft. Nope, that's wrong. Let me look that up, and we can get that in. 
So we were almost there. It was not Microsoft, it was Packages, and then Microsoft. But that Microsoft is going to be Minecraft. Then we want local state games, com.mojang. Open up a new one of these. We want a desktop backup. We can copy all that, paste all that. We want to replace everything. And then we can close that, close that, hit play again. And then if everything went right, we should see all our old worlds and our gamer tag and the skin we had. Um, so at this point, our game is backed up or back and we can play our old worlds. Um, and yeah, you're good to go. So if you like today's video or a little walkthrough, be sure to hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss any future tutorials or videos I put out, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in getting a Minecraft server for yourself, stick around for a little one minute video about my server website. I do server hosting and you can find more about that right now. So thank you for joining me and I hope to see you guys next time. If you ever wanted your own Minecraft server, head on over to servers.jomica.co and we have everything you need to set up your own Java edition or Bedrock edition server. We also have Rust servers available um, to join, sign up, and then after that you can log in. And here's a list of all the servers I manage. Uh, if we head into one of these servers here, we can check out the dashboard. And this is all the information you need. You can set the whitelist here, difficulty settings, default game mode, cheats, default member permissions. You can change the seed. Uh, you can manage the whitelist here. You can enter your own custom commands. You can start, stop, or restart the server at your convenience. And then when there's an update available, it automatically downloads it. And you can go ahead and just click this button to be on the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Yeah, super easy to set up. Head over to servers.jomica.co.